Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing the... Sorry, the tripod just decided it was not going to hold up for a second. Today, we're going to review the Netflix series, Voltron the Transforms. Because it's Transformer Week. Why not? And I say, why not? We're going to look at each and every lion. First, we got the green lion. He becomes an arm. To convert them into their arm modes is very simple. Leg articulations is due to the transformation. Head moves due to the transformation. Shield can come off. His arm... An emblem can come off. His arms are really well articulated. Very well. And the paint on sculpting on this is very good. But now we're going to transform it. Very simple. Like so. Make sure everything folds up nice and clean. And there we got Voltron's arm ready to go. And the port is ready to go, too. Yep. One arm done. Now we look at the black lion who becomes the torso. Really well sculpted, really well painted, and the head is really well done. Legs have the same articulation. Not much. Head does not rotate like the other one does, but it does nod. And now we're going to transform it, which is very simple. I can get this thing to work or not. We'll see. Or maybe just put it like that. That'll work. And then we'll just rotate these around. Flip out the head, reveal on the face, flip down his legs, fold down the feet. So those will come in the transformation very soon. And then we're going to connect the arm. There we got an arm all ready to go. And there's half the transformation. Nearly done. And we put his shield arm into place. And there we got his arm already done. Problem is with this configuration, it doesn't stay on very well. Why not? Let's look at the Yellow Lion. And it's a pretty good sculpt, pretty good painted. The eyes are pretty much well done. Articulation, not much. Head, not much. Turns into a leg, why not? Now we're going to transform it. Which is very simple. Fold that down. And then we put the yellow lion into its position. And it's going to lock into place. And there we go. Half the body done. We're getting there. And he dropped the shield arm. What a pain. But so far, an easy transformation to do for any people who like simple transformations. Let's 
And so far, so good. Voltron is almost ready for battle. Go look at the blue lion. Same articulation. Mouth opens. Legs move. Do the transformation. And now we transform it. Like so. We start forming his second leg here. Then we got Voltron half transformed. Fan mode to transform it each and every time, but hey, works pretty nice for a Voltron. Tron, protector of the universe, is almost assembled. Looking pretty gnarly looking. The final lion. Red Lion. And he holds the sword, so lions hold the hold the sword. Articulation the same. Head rotates. Now we're gonna transform it, which is very simple. Snap it into place, and Voltron is ready for battle. He looks pretty cool. Do you say so myself? Now we're going to give him his power sword if I can get this lion's mouth to open. Did it exactly like it's supposed to be. I guess the lion's mouth is a bit stuck on my copy, so we're going to take the sword off camera. Put it in the green lion's hand. And there we got Voltron. Defender of the Universe, ready for battle. Is this a worthwhile toy from Netflix? If you never had the original 1980s Voltron, and you like this design as much as I do, it's pretty darn good. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't help but say that. It's pretty awesome and good looking. And I'm so glad to have it. But now, it's time for some comparisons. We're going to do it next to the 14-inch Voltron, which is taller than this version, so we're going to back up. See, they look exactly the same, except this one's more complete than that one. Because I got this for free, so the other one I got for 30 bucks. You brought the sonic boom on him! And this one talks. If I ever find a complete one, I'm definitely going to replace this one, but for now... These Voltrons will remain part of my robot collection for many years to come. And why do I like Voltron so much? He's an awesome toy. And these toys look gnarly looking with the lion transformation. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out YouTube land.